Hello, and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. I hope you're doing good today. Today we're going to talk about Pythagorean's theorem and how that you can use it to do measuring things. Basically, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If you got two sides of a, a right angle, if you know the A side and the B side, then you know what it is going across the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the C squared part. Wherever uh, I was in school, they used to tell us that you need to memorize this. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I said, uh, when I'm going to be able to use this information? My teacher said, just you need to just remember it, craftsman. Don't ask about how to use it. Just know it. When you take the test, then you use the information. It wasn't until whenever uh, I came a grown man and it came time to build my house. I need to figure out how long a rafter is. And I said, oh, snap. That's how come I can use Pythagoras. Yeah. Um, does that make sense? I hope so. But the mainly reason that I wanted to show y'all this video is the 345 rule. Checking for square. There are so many different times where did you might be building something and you need to know that you were at a right angle, a square angle. That means if you measure the A side out, three units and then four units on the B side, then if you connect, it should be five units. And I say unit because you can do three inches to four inches and across it go five inches. Three feet and then four feet and across it go five feet. There's so many different ways that you can use it. Somebody done stole one of my rulers. Craftsman, I'm building a deck on my house and I need to know how can I use it there. Oh, well, it's simple. Then you measure three feet and then you measure uh four feet and then you do Hold up for, uh, wait, four feet, three, four feet. And across the hypotenuse, it should be five feet. If it's not five feet, then that means you out of square and you need to adjust it. Also, you could just check corner to corner and make sure that it is equal, that that corner is matching the other corner. Then if that's two numbers equal, then it's also square. That's another way you can do it. But, uh, to start out with a three, four, five row. Give it back my roof. Well, that's all for this episode. I just want to say thank you so much for keep on watching my video. We'll see y'all next time. Until then, y'all be blessed and keep steady crafting.